Hi everyone! Today I will be giving my first listen of King Diamond's song At the Graves. It was requested by Andy LaRubin and um, Vlad got this curious look on his face when he saw the request come in. He said, he said, I used to listen to that often back, back when I was in school. And he said there's some very unique things about this song and, and the band in, in general. So I'm curious what they are. He won't tell me a thing. I've looked at the title, of course, which is At the Graves, and that sounds like it could be just about anything. Cemetery, gravesite, who knows what. So let's get started. of a catchy little tune. So I I imagined, being that it's a long song, I kind of thought that it would have a, a significant introduction. And so I was listening to the little um, light opening, and then I heard the bass coming in, um, and then I was thinking, okay, what's going to come next? And then suddenly, out of nowhere, before I even realized what was happening, the voice is there. So that was a little surprise to me, but it was interesting. Okay, so I'm going to back up just a little bit. It's a very unique layering of sounds. Maybe I'll back up a little further because it came so quickly. I didn't quite have time to process it all the way I wanted to. Let me go back to the beginning. the bass. And here comes the... It just comes right into the lyrics there. That's an interesting voice. This is interesting. So much is happening. Boy. Okay. Huh. So it started out really setting this quality of somebody sitting by the grave begging the little sister to come back. And um, it, the voice was, it was very emotionally intense. It was crying. It was, it was 
begging little sister to come back. And now it's it's kind of shifted to be more like a mm, some sort of menacing demand, like uh, almost like there's some sort of I don't know yet. I, I'm going to go a little bit further. Let me back up just a little bit for context and let's see what comes. I'm not quite sure what to make of of the shift that's happened. I really don't know. Um, I mean, it 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 sounds like it's turned into a some sort of um, scene from the underworld, or or uh, a sort of what's the word I want? I can't think of it. <laughs> All right, let me back up a little bit because I don't know how you're going to cut this now. <laughs> I don't think I've got it. There's a word! I want the word! <laughs> anyway, when, when, when they're doing this sort of spiritualistic um, summoning of the dead um, serum, I can't think of the word! Anyway, it's going more that direction. And the word escapes me. I'm sorry. But it's kind of menacing, almost. It kind of has a Halloween quality to it. And I'm listening to this voice. Is this all the same singer? Oh my goodness, this is this is kind of weird and different. I, I I didn't expect so many changes and things happening. I told her there's nothing like King Diamond. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to keep going. I don't know if I should keep going or go back. Um, I noticed just as it was kind of getting it shifting into this, transitioning into this, there was this little organ chromatic line. I guess I'll come back to that in the second video because I want to keep going and finish the first listen here, okay? so. But I noticed that and I didn't mention it when I noticed it. I wanted to let you know I did notice it and it made me think of some things. But let's keep going here for now. It's kind of behaving like the voice did. Or maybe I should say the voice is behaving like a guitar. Now it's settling into a different rhythm here. It 
gets so sinister sometimes. And the lyrics are kind of strange too. Like it started as being um, Missy, my little sister, and then there are times where it's not talking to Missy anymore. It's like I'm seeing what's. I'm glad you've returned, all of you. Is that talking about all this stuff that's happening right now? Is this some? Did did this person somehow? pass through to the other side of the grave. Is that where this meeting is taking place? Um, because it no longer sounds like it's in the cemetery. Someone sitting by the, by the graveside. It sounds like it shifted to the underworld. It really does to me. And I wonder if that's what's intended here. Or if there's something else I have yet to discover. But that's kind of where I'm tending at this moment. But it's weird because it's almost like this person doesn't realize they've gone to the underworld. Um, they're talk still talking about all of you have returned. Like somehow they don't know that they're there. And um, it's an interesting take on things. All right, let's keep going. So much happening and so much that I don't really, I'm not sure if I'm interpreting it right or not. I'm not sure if I'm completely off track or if I'm kind of figuring out what this is about. I don't know. You know, there was that, it sounded like a, like a motorcycle taking off <laughs> and, but it came after this moment of dead silence. And um, I I'm not sure, does that have any significance or is it just a sound effect to add to the craziness of it? I'm not sure. But let's back up just a little bit so that we can hear that again. where it kind of changes into a different rhythm. Such an interruption. And here it sounds like really somebody's motorbike taking off. I'm sorry if that's not what it's supposed to mean. <laughs> So I feel it setting into another rhythm now and it's starting to feel like it's falling into a groove again. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Here we're in this rhythmic groove again. Brings a sort of some sense of order to the whole thing. So the 
this line, uh, in, in your mind you'll hear them sing every night at the graves, we have to leave before the dawn. If not, by the sun we will burn. That's why, that's one of the things that's making me think, has this person transitioned to to the land of the dead? Is it is it some sort of is it even some sort of vampire scenario? Um, that's kind of what it's making me think of a little bit. But let's go on. I think we're close to the end now. Wrapping up, coming to an end here. But it's still really crazy. It's all over the place. get another idea in my mind. I'm waiting for it to end. Interesting. Interesting. So as I got to the end and um, the organ came back and I was still thinking about this line um, that I mentioned earlier, we have to leave before the dawn, if not, we'll, by the sun we will burn. I suddenly got to, started to put it all together and think, this does seem to have a connection to vampires and, and kind of be setting up a scenario where something has happened. This person was sitting by the grave and, and something has happened and, and maybe it was a sort of vampire experience that, that made the transition. I am going to have to listen to this several times over and think about it some more and study it a bit more. But I begin to think because that organ at the end, it really sounded kind of like a, um, the type of music that is used to create this sort of vampire creepy house sound effect and and it's kind of making me go that direction at least in this moment having just listened for the first time and been a little confused along the way and astonished at all the things that are happening it's a long piece of music it it starts and it transitions through a lot of things I didn't get a chance to really, I was, I was trying so hard to figure out what this is all about. I didn't get a chance to really think about form and structure a lot, but it certainly does have a way of holding together. Well, there are things that do that. Rhythmically, it has some rhythmic elements and it's not terribly complex harmonically 
at least from what I noticed at first. Although, of course, there are the very chromatic moments and, and crazy things happening. But overall, there's something underlying which holds it all together. And um, the melody also does some weird things along the way, changes, does some surprises. But there are also things that make it work as well. Like when I mentioned that the guitar seems to be doing what the voice is, was doing. It was definitely repeating the same melody that the voice had just sung not long before. But that gave me a sort of moment of revelation too about the electric guitar sound. Because, as you know, that's been a new sound to my ears in the past month. And it's been... It's, I'm still in the process of understanding the expressive power and capacity and, and um, voice of the guitar. But I do sing and I teach and I, you know, even though it's not at all this style, I, I am familiar with the voice as a vehicle of expression. And both this song and the one that I did just before it, the... Um, the brothers in arms are making me relate to the electric guitar more as something akin to the voice with the same expressive qualities and and this was kind of a a light bulb moment for me right here when i heard the guitar doing the same crazy stuff that the voice was doing before and the voice was crazy and wild and, and I was like, is that all the same voice? But it was the voice, and I can relate to voice. So now, here comes the guitar, and it suddenly made it click a little bit for me. So that was an interesting experience that I just had, just now, listening to this piece of music. And um, that's something I'm going to be keeping my ears open for in future listens as well, because um, this is a journey that I'm on, and... It's fascinating to me. And and the guitar, um, well, it doesn't just mimic the voice or repeat in the same way without, without um, mm, shall I say inspiration? That's a really ambiguous term, but maybe you get what I mean by that. I don't feel like I'm listening to the same thing over again that I just heard with no new content. The guitar added something. And um, one of my previous listens, you probably noticed, I, I made the same comment about the guitar, that it was repeating the same thing the voice did, but it didn't seem to add anything. Now here, I am, it's, it's what made it come alive, is that I noticed the similarities, but at the same time, the guitar being an instrument which we can add to and manipulate and change in ways we can't do the voice. Um, of course, it can go far beyond the voice in many ways. And so it, it was a really interesting dynamic all the way through. And the voice itself, it's very unique and very dynamic and um, does some... I don't... I, I guess I've never listened to a voice quite like this before. And as I listen to this piece a few more times in the next days, I am going to be paying attention to the voice some more as well. And also how the voice and guitar um, work together, because I feel like that is a significant part of this song, even though I didn't really come to it prepared to think of it that way. That's what I'm walking away with. So. Thank you for the suggestion and the request. Um, this is fascinating to me. Uh, and, and I'm looking forward to digging into it. And I will be back for the second half where I have taken a few days to do some research and dig in and kind of broaden my understanding and, and see what I can come, what more I can come with in, in relation to this particular song. By the time this goes public, um, I will have done the second half. And you can find the link right here. And um, just under that, if any of you wish to support or, or make a request, there's a link here for that as well. 
And some of you have mentioned that you want to follow the channel, but you're not getting notifications of new postings and upcoming events. If you're not sure how to do that, check and make sure you've subscribed and make sure that the bell, you've clicked on the bell, which represents receive notifications. You want to make sure that's on because that's what will make it send the notifications to you. I'll see you next time.